Pastor Taiwo Odukoya is the founder and the lead pastor of the Fountain of Life Church in Lukeju, Lagos State, Nigeria, and is the husband of the world-renowned late Pastor Bimbo Rosemary Odukoya. The eloquent, beautiful, hard-working, God-loving, fearing, and um, you know, there are the endless words I can use to describe Pastor Taiwo and his first wife who died in the plane crash in 2005, so Soliso Airline, on her way to Port Harcourt for a church ministration. Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're an existing viewer, you're also very much welcome. Now, this is a sad, sad, sad day on the 9th of November 2021 when Pastor Taiwo came out to announce the passing of his beloved second wife, Pastor Nomthi Udukoya. Guys, this is really a sad one. If um, we are counting pastors in Lagos, Nigeria, who faces their lane and who tries to keep everything private and face the work of God, who you're not going to see really coming out to, you know, his, his life is extremely private. In fact, it was his late wife, Pastor Bimbo, was more known because of her ministry, which was called Single, Single and Married, where she, you know, she put herself on the platform, ministering to singles and the married. And this was a project after her heart. She gave it her everything. And while she died, they were building the permanent sites of their church behind the old one. In a um, town planning way, Ilukweju, Lagos State, Nigeria. Um, shortly before that, that same year, it was when she was about to celebrate her birthday, she told everybody not to buy her anything. That what the only thing she wants is for them to contribute towards the church building, which is now an edifice, you know, that was com completed after her death. And when she died, you know, it was really pathetic. You know, it, it was said of the degree of bones she had. And how, you know, it was just better for her to go home. And she was preaching in the flight, in the Sisoliso heel fated flight to children of um, a school in Abuja. I'll try and remember the name of the school in Abuja, you know. Those students, they were also, I think maybe they were going home or something. So they, they all crashed. One of the survivors of the event is one lady called Kelechi, who is, you know, still has had a series of surgeries. And everything but she's still living and giving glory to god now today out of the blues we just saw pastor taiwo's post where is is he mourned um pastor Nomthi. now after a few years i think about five years after pastor bimbo died pastor taiwo announced that he was getting married and people were like okay who is he getting married to and there came pastor Nomthi odukoya a south african because we were thinking, okay, is it that there's no woman in Nigeria that he could marry? But that was his choice. And people knew that Pastor Bimbo left big shoes. That woman was everywhere. Anywhere God is glorified, she was there. I've happened to have encounters with her. I happened to attend the church. And honestly, even years after her death, we still miss her. She was so full of God's fire. She was so confident. She always praised her husband. Any award she got then, she would cry and hand it over to her husband saying, she's not the one that deserves the award, but her husband. So it, it, it was really, really heartbreaking. And really, people are yet to even get over her. Because even if you watch some of her old videos, it's still everything she says still relates to what is happening right now. As it regards even singles and married. So when Pastor Nomti was married, when she got married to Pastor Taiwo, because when Pastor um, Bimbo died, it was said that Pastor Taiwo could not sleep on his matrimonial bed. He grieved so much. He grieved because this is one woman, <laughs> you know, there are women and there are women, okay? There are women and there are women. Let me just put it like that. A woman who is absolutely committed to the word of God and committed to her husband and children and to ministry, she gave it her everything. Pastor being Bob preached in the biggest of churches and in the smallest of churches. I was a witness in one of those churches, a very tiny church that she preached in. And she did something that evening that I still remember all the days of my life. And that is when I knew that, wow, this woman is not just a star in her church. 
she relates to every tiny church is opportune to hold the mic and preach may her beautiful soul continue to rest in perfect peace so as we were getting over our death because really people have not gotten over pastor being busted that's the truth of the matter she had her style she had her way she had her she was just so full of life so Pastor Tawo got married again to Pastor Nomthi and you know people definitely there's always a basis for comparison but the woman settled into her role doing her best she wrote a book don't touch my body for children you know did her preaching in, in church before Pastor Tawo comes on stage to preach she will she would do a few minutes of um ministrations and everything she blended so well with her husband so well and she was very peace loving she let her stepchildren shine also because even on that wedding you know when she got married to pastor taiwo pastor bimbo's children were you know were the flower woman best lady or whatever it is that we're called and all those children now are, are married and in their own you know husbands and wives you know in their own marriages enjoying their lives and pastor nomty will always have this um, catchy phrase in church when she said, how are you doing, everybody? Everybody said, I'm enjoying my life. Because she was really enjoying her life. Getting married to a loving husband like Pastor Taiwo Dukoya. A very faithful man. A f f core family man, to the, a family man to the core. A man who knows God's purpose in his life. Who did everything according to God's words. And has support. So that is one church that you see pastors that are there. And one of those prominent people in the church is... Um, the past chairman of um, First Bank of Nigeria, Pastor Ibukun Awoshika. Pastor Ibukun Awoshika has been a member of this church for over 20-something years. And she's still there. And all the pastors that are there have grown in their businesses, doing so well. But Pastor Taiwo has a way of raising leaders. So it's just so heartbreaking when I saw Pastor Taiwo's post today on his Instagram when he announced the death of his wife after 11 years of blissful marriage. It is so, so heartbreaking. I'm thinking, oh no, why? What is going on? What is going on? Pastor Tawo is now in his 60s. And burying another wife is so much, is so big a cross that I'm feeling so, 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 so bad for him. Now how will this man cope? It's so, so heartbreaking and... Honestly, I, I, I pay my condolence to the, the old Fountain of Life family for this great loss of Pastor Nomfi. This is one woman who is always smiling. This woman is always, always smiling. I've seen her in person. I've seen her pictures. And you can take a look at some of her pictures also. She's always smiling. Always, always smiling, full of life. Why won't she smile when she has a husband who has got her back, when she's not competing with... Um, Pastor Bimbo, the former wife, you know, so she blended so well into Pastor Bimbo's and uh, Pastor Taiwo's life. So today that Pastor Taiwo came online to inform us that he's lost Pastor Nomfi after she battled for about two years with cancer. Oh my God, not again, cancer again, you know, cancer again for a woman, a woman who is in her prime and she has two children, two handsome boys for Pastor Taiwo, two handsome little boys. For Pastor Taiwo. So it's just so heartbreaking. It's just so heartbreaking. I really don't know. And I really, really don't know. She has done well by holding Pastor Taiwo's family. Uh, his, um, his first three children. Uh, even her own children. She held the family together. She held the family. She held the church together. She was not proud. She was humble. This is one lady that, you know. She just, she just, she just, just blended beautifully into pastor taiwo's life i want to read the post that pastor taiwo um, posted he said with deep regret and gratitude to god i have to announce the passing of my wife pastor nomthi udukoya she battled cancer for the better part of two years she stood on the word of god and she fought she gave me 11 beautiful years of marriage and two wonderful boys who i know will be very significant in life i loved her with all my heart but who am i to fight with the will of god the truth is, at one point in our lives, we all will have to say goodbye. So for now, till we meet again in glory, goodbye, Nomthi. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is... It's just like somebody telling me this is not true. Honestly, this is so, so sad. 
bearing a second wife anybody that knows pastor taiwo will tell you he's one of the finest gentlemen finest gentlemen ever walking on the surface of this earth so loving gentle non-confrontational if he sees his lane he's not he's not extravagant he's, he doesn't believe in all this um extravagancy that is known with pastors or something it's just so so a much of a wonderful man some of the comments people dropped here is i read about how pastor taiwo couldn't sleep in their family bed for years after the loss of his first wife it's hard to imagine the grief the second time may god comfort him another person said jesus to think my friend and i were just talking about soliso's plane crash yesterday and mentioned his first wife may god be with him the third commenter said, May our soul rest in peace and God give him the fortitude to bear the loss. Such a sad story for him. It is really, really a sad one. So I just picked three of these comments on his section, on his comment section. And um, I pray that God will give him the fortitude to bear this loss. May God strengthen him. May God keep him. And, uh, you, know, we, we, you know, life is just not balanced. Like my people will say, life no balance at all. This minute you think you have it all. And when Pastor Nomthi got married to Pastor Taiwo, people were thinking to say, oh, this woman is just blessed. You know, Pastor Bimbo has done the work for her. She's just coming to enjoy everything. Sometimes not out of envy, but out of wow. In awe of how God can just pick you from, from somewhere to just come. And, and she blended so well. She gave the man joy. She gave him peace. There was love. You will see the synergy. Anytime she's on st stage preaching, She's also full of life. Why are the virtuous ones going down? That's just a question. Why are the ones who, who are filled with fire? Why are they just going? That's the question that God Almighty alone can answer. Honestly, 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 it's just, it's just so heartbreaking that I don't know. I really don't know what to say, but who are we to question God? He's the Almighty. He knows the everything. And well, it's, our children are so young, just less than 10 years old. And it's just, it's just heartbreaking how those children we cope and how pastor we cope in his 60s. May God give him the strength again. I know a lot of people like Pastor Michael Konkwo, Pastor Adeboye, Pastor David Oyedekpo, who were there on their wedding day and who stood by him when for Pastor Bimbo died, will also be there to give him comfort at this time of loss. I'm very sure about that. And it just shows us that in life, please don't use somebody's glory to ask for, you know, don't say you want this kind of person's glory. You don't know what they are going through. Be behind the laughter, behind the fanciful dresses, some people are really going through so much. Now, you can imagine this woman going through cancer all through the time of COVID pandemic and all of that. When everybody's looking for money or whatever, all she will be praying to God for was a miracle to heal her of the deadly cancer. It's a lesson called for us all. Pastor Nomthi has gotten to her bus stop and she's alighted just the way Pastor Bimbo got to her bus stop and alighted. But the work of our hands is what we need to be very careful about. I don't care whatever religion it is you practice. If you don't impact people in your world, if you're not a people's person, if you don't try as much as possible to live your best, to enjoy life as much as you can, to be the best you can be to your neighbor, to your husband, your children, to people you know and people you don't know, then you've not really come to life to live. You just came to exist. Honestly, they had it all. Pastor Nomte had everything. She had the two boys, for goodness sake. Two boys. She didn't have to wait too long. She had two boys. She had a fantastic husband. She had a well-established church. And she had support and people. When she has a program, people will always, this church is always packed full. And she never tried to imitate Pastor Bimbo Dukoya. I must say this at this point. The Pastor Bimbo's shoes that she left behind was too huge for anybody to just come in and put the, put the legs inside. No. And I must give it to Pastor Taiwo also because Pastor Taiwo is somebody that is a natural it grows people. Please go and make your research. Don't let it seem as if I'm singing his praises. But these are people that I've known for the past 18, 20 years. So I know what I'm saying. And you can just make your own research from people who have been with the church before Pastor Bimbo died. So it's just heartbreaking. And I pray God will give the two boys 
and even the whole family, the whole Odukoya family, the fortitude to bear this loss. Okay, so people, it's really a sad day, a sad, sad day, night of November. If I remember, Pastor Bimbo died first week of December, also in 2005, and that was very tragic because it was, a, it was you know, the fact that she even died with children in a plane crash. And I don't even just want to remember all those memories. It's been so, so sad. It's been so sad. So we are going to wait for the church and, you know, the family to announce our burial plans. It's just so sad to think of this woman in the past tense. And one day, one day, every one of us, we are going to be um, referred to in past tense. So it's just a note of warning to us to remember that life is just what it is you have it now you have your happy husband and your children you have money you're flying everywhere around the world you have your platform tomorrow when god says the time is up we are just gonna go without taking anything thank you so much this means so much to my heart and that's why i'm pouring this in this in this podcast and so it's a kind of reflection for me personally the kind of reflection for me even if you don't have an encounter with pastor taiwo his church or his former wife before um just make your research on google and think about your own life about the impacts you want to make in life and how far you can go in affecting people's life thank you so much for watching um and please remember to drop your comments in the comment section below and please let it be as constructive as possible because you know when it has to do with um death Nobody has the keys, you know, nobody can stop death when it comes knocking. It just comes and we have no choice but to drop everything we are doing. But the only prayer we'll pray is that when the time comes, when God calls us home, um, may he meet us doing good. I mean, we have realigned our lives with God's plan and move according to his purpose. So to the, also to all the family members of... Um, um pastor yeah pastor bimbo and blended uh, the family of pastor bimbo blended with pastor nomfi they were always there in church even the years after pastor bimbo died they were always supporting you know there was no bad bad blood at all so it's just so envious those are the things good things that one is supposed to be modeling after not toxicity that is almost everywhere we should model good people who have made efforts to build their homes build their work build their career build their ministry you know and you know so just, god just knows everything thank you so much for watching once again i'm sure to see you in my next video um from this point i will say bye for now